Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about the difference between a thermocouple and an RTD sensor. So if you look at them, then you're really not going to be able to tell the difference looking at the probe in. Now in this case, I do have a thermocouple with a ring on it where typically you would bolt it to something. And I have a cartridge style RTD where usually you would slide it into a piece of steel or something that you want to sense the temperature of. But really, that doesn't distinguish a thermocouple from an RTD. You can get any type of end on either one of them. But the way they work on an electrical level is quite different and quite fascinating. So let's start with the thermocouple. Because what a thermocouple does is it takes two dissimilar type metals and puts them together right at the end. And then, depending on the temperature, it's going to put out a different voltage. And it's really fascinating because even if it's below a certain temperature, the polarity is going to be a one way. And if it's above a certain temperature, the polarity is going to be another way. So we're going to do a quick exercise just to measure it. And I could grab a scope, but let's stick with something that we can all do. Here's an El Cheapo meter. And I'm going to take the red lead on the meter and put it to the red wire. And I'm going to take the black lead on the meter and put it to the other wire. And then over on our DC voltage side, we're usually in the you know, 200 range or the 20 volt range. If you look down, there's actually a 200 millivolt range. And we're going to switch it to there. And it's going to pretty much show zero. But now, let's take a heat gun and see what it does. So as I heat it up, you're going to see the voltage starts climbing on it. And now we're up to 4 millivolt, and we're steady climbing. So this millivolt signal is very repeatable, and you can take this value and determine your temperature. So that's how a thermocouple input works, is it's really a very sensitive millivolt input. And it reads the millivolt input and it determines what the temperature is based off of that. And you can see on our meter, now that we're sitting here without our heat, it's slowly coming back down. Now an RTD sensor on the other hand works off of resistance. So it has a piece of material in the end of it that as the temperature changes, the resistance of it changes. And it can be really confusing looking at the wires coming out of the end of it because we have two red wires in this case, and we have a clear wire. And so this is called a three-wire RTD. And so you can have a two-wire RTD, you can have a three-wire RTD, and you can also have a four-wire RTD. And so since the resistance is so critical on these, what you have is you have these two wires in this case that are red. They go all the way through our wire and to the other end, and they actually are tied together. And what that allows you to do is actually measure the resistance of all your wire in your circuit. And so that way you can compensate for that and only account for the resistance between this and this to determine your temperature. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the black lead to one of our red wires. And since we're just hooked into a meter, it doesn't even matter which red wire. And we're gonna take our other lead to our clear. But now, instead of being on our millivolts, we're gonna come down here to ohms. And while we're sitting here, we're showing roughly 110 ohms. So same thing, we're going to heat it up And as it heats up, you can see that its resistance changes. So the same thing as with our thermocouple, there is a correlating resistance for every temperature. And there's charts out there or we have RTD inputs that we can use to determine what that temperature is. So we're gonna have some upcoming videos where we actually hook the RTD and a thermocouple up to a CompactLogix PLC. But I just wanted to give a quick primer on the difference between 
a thermocouple, and an RTD. So if this video has been helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.